<laughs> Welcome to another edition of Frankly Green Bay, brought to you by Kathy Kolbeck and Waterstone Mortgage. Today, part two of Paul Evenson, and we're wearing the same shirt. Welcome back to part two. Hey, thank hey. you remember. Did you use an iron? Uh, it, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Uh, it was a low iron. Low, okay. uh, it, was on, it was on cool mist. <laughs> so you and I meet in 2001, and all of a sudden in 2004, you go, uh, hey, I'd like to join the troops. And what happened then? Um, well, I think actually you came to me, if yeah. I was going to be correct, yeah. because, I mean, I've been interviewing you guys, and, and I had the looks and talent. <laughs> that goes back to part one, yeah. if you didn't see it anyway. You missed it. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was just, uh, it was 2004, and, and um, uh, yourself and, and Pat came to me at that time and said, hey, do you ever think about maybe doing a show rather than just covering them all yeah. the time? I said, yeah, you know, maybe, and then... If you remember, you invited you guys were at the SC Grand back then. Yes. At that time. Yes. And uh, you invited invited me into the uh, the bar when it was closed. We opened it. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> you invited me in when it was closed, and then uh, you asked me to, to sing something, and I think I did like a Jim Croce you song, a cappella. You did. And uh, you know, and it was we one still of the, hired you. Yeah, I, <laughs> they still hired me. So you've been you've been with Let Me Be Frank. I mean, as a performer for 16 years, been some, been, been some breaks where you mm -hmm. took some time off, and then. Ah, uh, we started this little trivia thing because I thought you sounded like and looked like Neil Diamond. That has really opened up doors for you, haven't it? Hasn't it? Um, it has, and and I think that really goes back to to a, a, a Let Me Be Frank production that we did, and uh, you gave me a Neil Diamond I song because yeah. we were doing something. I think either late '60s yeah. or early '70s was the theme of that show, and you gave me one of his songs to sing, and and you know people were coming through the reception line going, "Man, you sounded just yeah. like Neil Diamond," and. Frank being two people away from me, you know, his marketing ear <laughs> caught that and said, hmm, hmm. maybe, maybe. Let's do which, some, which, make some money off which, Paul. Which, Yeah. <laughs> you think you can learn a few more songs? <laughs> Let's talk about the new show coming up because mm -hmm. really we're promoting it right now and it's called uh, Sputnik Manitowoc. Yeah. Um, how's it going so far? Uh, well, one week of rehearsal. One week of rehearsal. Uh, well, it, it's been going great, nice. obviously. I mean, uh, you know, I made the joke uh, even last night at the end of rehearsals. Hey, are we loading into the mire next week? Because uh, everybody's doing such a great job, and, and uh, but that's a fun, fun part for people who don't know, and I know there's plenty of people who do, but for people who don't know, this is just such a unique cast and such a unique opportunity. I, can, I have the luxury of taking time away and then stepping back in, and not only is everybody welcoming, but it's like you're just, it's like, you know, stepping into, a, a, or putting on a comfortable sweater. Well, for this show specifically, if we're supposed to be here promoting Sputnik, which, yeah. uh, which I'm not doing a very good job of, but no, this one is great because we do have those opportunities, uh, especially Tom and I. We play two Manitowoc County officers who discover this chunk of uh, Sputnik that has uh, fallen to the ground in, in the city street back in 1962. Uh, and then, of course, we have to kind of convey that and bring that to you as the uh, as the mayor, mayor. of Manitowoc and uh, and then protect it, you know, for some from a couple of Russian spies who are coming in to try and take it from us. Hey, join <laughs> Paul and I in the brand new show called Sputnik Manitowoc. It opens up September 18th all the way through October 10th. And then we're doing a weekend. Two well, shows. A, thir a Thursday, Saturday. That would be the 6th, 15th, and 17th. I always get dates wrong. Hopefully I got it right this time. Yeah. At the Capitol Civic Center in Manitowoc, a mile away from... Uh, from where it happened. Hey, Paul, thanks so much. Did you have fun? I did. You know, and it's always great when you're promoting a show when you can't remember dates. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs>